This is my first design project for Info 4320. We had to use a multicolor LED to display some kind of information or respond to some kind of stimuli from the outside world. So I chose this stimuli to be my blog, jeremyblum.com. And what I wanted to do was make a device that tracks the amount of people who visit my website, what browser they're using, and what operating system they're using to view my website. So on my breadboard here, I have my LED. And I also have an on-off switch for this circuit that's connected to an interrupt on the controller. So I can enable or disable the functionality of the device even if it's in the middle of a cycle. Um, because the LED can get pretty bright and I might want to turn it off. So I have three options here. Uh, there's a Python script that runs on my computer. And uh, it runs continuously. And I can choose three options. I can have it dis uh, send information to the LED about monthly, weekly, and daily blog visits. Uh, browser statistics or operating system statistics. The way I get this data is on my website. I have it's written in PHP, and I have a script that runs in the footer of every page. Um, it checks first to see if the user is a some kind of web crawler, like from Google or something. And if it determines that it's not, and it's an actual person. It records the time of their visit, uh, the operating system they're using, and the browser they're using. And those are recorded text files. Uh, and then once you run this Python script. The Python script will run continuously and download an updated version of the Python file every five minutes and send the new information to the LED to change the brightness appropriately. So first I'll hit one and that will do my monthly, weekly, and daily blog visits. So what I've done is I've set a threshold value or a goal value. So my goal is to get uh, 100,000 visits in a month, 4,000 visits in a week, and 500 visits in a day. So when I hit those max values, that's when the LED is at its brightest, and any value below that, it, the, val the brightness of the LED decreases linearly. Um, so it'll, every time it sends information to the LED, it'll also print out the statistics that it's using to generate the brightness. So I've been running the script now for the last few days, so the week is the same as the month because it's been running for less than a week. But um, right now you can say that I have about 1,600 views in the last week, and of those 1,600, uh, 1,000 are in the last 24 hours. Uh, but because my threshold for the last 24 hours is 500 visits, it's going to be at full brightness. Um, and then my threshold for a week is 4,000 visits, so it's going to be somewhere between, somewhere around a third of that, a uh, third of full brightness. And for monthly visits, it's going to be pretty dim because 1,600 isn't a huge percentage of 100,000. So now we can see that the LED is blinking. Um, and as it shows on the screen, green corresponds to month, blue to week, and red to 24 hours. So you can see that uh, red is at pretty full brightness here. Um, blue, which is weak, is about one-third brightness. And then the green one that just showed is by far the dimmest because it's corresponding to the month. Okay, so now I'll close the script. And I will run it again. But this time, I will choose browser statistics. So this time, we'll hit number two. So once again, it gives you some information. It tells you that blue is going to be Internet Explorer, red is Firefox, and green is all other browsers. Um, and so this is querying data from the last 1,000 visits to the website, because I don't want the text files to get too big. Um, and then they'll give you the percentage printout. So right now, 20% of my visitors are from Firefox, about 20% from Internet Explorer, and the other 60% are using some other browser like um, Opera or Chrome or basically anything other than those two. And that sends the commands to my LED. And so uh, green should be the brightest because it's other, and that's about so it should be about 60% brightness. And then Firefox and Internet Explorer, which are red and blue respectively, should each be at 20% of their maximum LED brightness, which is about what you can see by looking at it. All right, uh, and last but not least, we'll look at operating system statistics. So I punch in three for operating system statistics. Oops, I have to type in a number. Hit three for operating system statistics. All right, so blue is my visitors from Apple computers, green from Windows, and red from any Linux variants. So in the last 1,000 visits again, 40% were Microsoft Windows, 1% were from Mac, and 55% were from Linux. Um, 
So the LED brightnesses for each of those colors should correspond to that. Blue is for Mac, so it's going to be the dimmest. Um, green is for Windows, so it should be at about 43% brightness, which you can see that it is. And uh, red is for Linux variants, which is about at 54% brightness. So you can see that the green is definitely the brightest there, about half of its total possible brightness. And just to demonstrate the interrupt function here, so I can just switch that on or off at any time. When I turn it back on, it'll resume. So it doesn't have to be done with a cycle or anything like that. So that's what's nice about using an interrupt. Um, and if you wait around long enough, I'm obviously not going to make this video like 10 minutes long, but if you wait around long enough, uh, it tells you that the, it'll perform the next update at this time, which is five minutes from the last update. Uh, and at that time, it'll re-download the text files and um, update the brightnesses if need be. All right, and that's it for my first project. Thanks.